it don't be the outgrowing shit. People change up. The money and the fame has a strange way of changing people, man. If you look at a lot of the, the, the most successful people, they got issues. They got issues with their people. Like that's why I respect. I respect people like Jay Z, people like Ti. You know because these people still got their original people around them. So you can't tell me that. You know when you get into the money and you get into the different world of things. You can't keep your people right there with you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You were that's saying how you, that book. Yeah, you were saying how you made the million while you were there. So what I did, um, I wrote the book. I, I was like, man, you know, because er, everybody in prison, you know, used to ask me about Jeezy. Yeah, of course. He was a, a real big deal at the time. And... You know, I got tired of answering questions about that shit. <laughs> That's why you keep saying that in here. Uh, you like, I'm tired of it. Yeah, so everybody wanted to ask me about it. But him. it's a part of your journey, though. Yeah, but goddamn. Um. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute. I want to ask you what. Is, is it this? You you've been doing a lot of uh, uh, press over there. How long you been out now? Like, almost three years. Three years, and you don't answer Jeezy question until you can't answer no damn more. Yeah, and, and I'm tired of that shit, man. You know I what I'm saying? It, I love it. I'm tired of no, it. No, let's what be saying? real. Let's be real on Ball like, Talk 101. Like, you know. What is the worst thing about it? It ain't me. You like, it's that a, ain't it's mine. A, it's a part of, yeah, of course, it's a part of, you know, my origin, what, what, what how I get in the industry. And, and every day, I, I appreciate the homie for taking the initiative to, to being the person that he is today because it opened up a lot of doors for me. You see what I'm saying? Just by, you know, him making it. Whether it was intentionally or unintentionally or intentional on his it. behalf. Yeah. It still opened up a lot of doors for me. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, it gave me opportunity. So I'm grateful for that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the homie. <laughs> Nevertheless, I'm tired of answering questions about that nigga. But I'll ask you no <laughs> motherfucking <Jesus> <laughs> Say so, these niggas, but man, you gotta understand. You was locked up, and you don't know how big that movement was, bro. It was crazy, it. man. You know, know it. you wasn't here to I see it, and it really it. makes it even more weirder. You like, what the hell, yeah, man? Because you know, when I got all this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's still kind of new to me, but you know, cause let's not talk about Jeezy. Jeezy, <laughs> no, nah, yeah, but it was new to me. Of course. And so even to this day, a lot of stuff is still new to me. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, me knowing a person that slept in my house, a person that, you know, I let, he I used to let him wear my jewelry, you know, a person that I really protected in the streets. If he had issue, you know, they came to me for the issues because I'm the, I'm, the, I, I was the, I'm the street nigga. I know. They, they're not the street niggas. I know you that. You know what I'm saying? They did their hustle thing, but they're they not the street niggas. So when they had smoke, when they had, you know, when he wanted to go get my earrings or rock my Rolexes and shit, he come to me. And so, you know, a pr to see the person that was a non-rapper that became a fucking rap icon, like, it, it, it still a part, I'm, I'm mind-boggled by that shit, you know what I'm saying? I so know you are. It ain't just, like, really just, you know, just sat in with me, because, and, and through looking at that example, I know that this shit is, is reachable. Yeah. It can happen yeah. for me, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It can happen for anybody. Correct. Because I got records right now in my phone, old-ass records that we did, and... You'll be like, who the fuck is that? It ain't, it wouldn't be the individual that you know as a mm. trap, as a trap icon, trap trap rap icon. So you know that type of shit is motivation. It let it let me know that you know this shit can be done. You know anything that you really put your mind to, mm -hmm. anything that you're determined to do, you can actually do that shit. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, but the thing is, you you don't understand what you just said. Really, I'm a thinker, right? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you know, we hustle. So, in my mind, you can't sit here and tell me you got a, a work, you know, music with you and him on it, all kind of stuff. No, wait a minute. I'm not saying I'm not doubting you. I'm just saying and not have it in your heart to say, you know what? I'm gonna do me a whole movie or a series or something. You got the elements to do things that other people wouldn't have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got, that, that's money in the bank, to be honest with you, bro. This record right here is called um, Players from the South. You gonna send that to me? Yeah, I'm gonna send it to you. Yeah, because I got to have it because I and, and it's just for boss talk. Cause I'm, I'm gonna play that hoe. Let me hear it. This song right here, right? This the first song we ever done. You 
it was in 97. Oh, really? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Uh. And so, you know. We, I want to hear his voice in this time. Let me hear this, Let man. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, this him right here. That damn show him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That damn show him. Yeah, that's him. You got it. Okay. That damn show him. Yeah, you wasn't no yeah on that one, was it? Nah, nah. Yeah. You know yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, so. No, I love it, man. I, I love your honesty, bro. Uh, King ain't, ain't, ain't and no, nobody ain't working. I think everybody just not grew each other, bro. Y'all done. It's something different now. You know what I'm saying? I don't really think that's the case. A lot of people nobody say shit. Nobody do a reunion, man. Like hot I mean? boys. No, I don't think. I don't think like it's the outgrowing. I think more so. You can, you can look at it from that perspective, but I think you know people change up on you, man. And it don't be the outgrowing shit. People change up. The money and the fame has a strange way of changing people, man. If you look at a lot of the, the, the most successful people, they got issues. They got issues with their people. Like that's why I respect. I respect people like Jay Z, people like Ti. You know because these people still got their original people around them. So you can't tell me that. You know, when you get into the money and you get into the different world of things, you can't keep your people right there with you. Same thing with same thing with Birdman. Birdman, they, yeah. It may look raggly, but it's but still, still there. Look at Birdman. BG got out of jail. Although, you know, people they can argue that it got to be some 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 business going on. But the fact of the matter is that these people still fucking with their people. Look how many times Birdman, Juvenile, didn't cuss Birdman out. BG didn't diss Birdman. Birdman still, said something. But right you know what? They still family. They still a family. Yeah. At the end of out, Birdman just loved Juvie Tuesday. We was at Juvie Tuesday one time. These people still... Fuck with they people. That's real. So anybody that's solid, look at Jay Z. Tata still around. Emery fresh out of prison. He yeah. fresh on a private jet. This nigga a billionaire. This nigga still fucking with all his people. Sean Don, that, that girl Sean. All these people around this man is still there. So I feel like Ti. Look at him. P.S. The whole country came. Mac Boney. All these he people that you rock with. You rock with you, no matter how bad of a fuck up these people are, these people still connected to their people. That's real. So if it's anybody in the industry that that you see that ain't connected to their people, you know, it's a question there. It's a it's big always question a there. Question there, man. Yeah, that's true. And yeah, we on boss talk one on one. One on one. Yeah, we gon' talk. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. One on one. Yeah, we gon' talk.